Hey everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. It is almost Christmas and I can't believe how fast um, this year is ending. I mean, we have 11 days left in the year. If you didn't join our call last night, I forgot to record it. Um, so I'm really sorry that I did. Um, but you can kind of check in the team page and you'll see a lot of the things that we were talking about were in there, but you can always reach out to me or reach up to your upline coach um, and then we can definitely talk to you guys more about you know how to set the stage for January set this uh, set the stage with the health bet and using this all access amazing package for people that way people don't have that mindset of up oh, this is just a 21 day thing no like you're a lot you're doing this for an entire year and you know what if you drop off for a month or two it's okay you can come back and you don't have to purchase anything else unless you still want your Shakeology because hello, like you still need to get the healthiest meal of the day. So um, we have a really special guest tonight, so I'm not going to take up any time. I will let you guys know I am baking cookies at the same time. So if you see me moving around, um, they're all gluten-free. Most of them are sugar-free too, so don't worry. They're all 21 Day Fix approved. Um, but Leia is going to take over and she's going to introduce our guest speaker. Thank you. So I'm um, super excited that we have uh, Dave McLean or Big Dave. Uh, some of you guys know. If anybody has been to Super Saturday in Philly, you know who this guy is because he is like the, the energy and like the face of the Philly fusion. So um, I asked him to share um, some insight with us tonight and I know he's gonna bring it so I'm super super excited and take it away Dave. Perfect. Uh, Leah had asked me hey do you have like a uh, rundown of like a bio for you I'm like just no <laughs> just say what you want to say um, and uh, and then she also asked me what I'm gonna talk about and I probably changed that like four or five times too. <laughs> so I'm a real pain in the ass when it comes to team calls but that I, I promised I would bring something of value because uh, I, because most importantly, and and I really have to express this, you know, I really am grateful that you guys did take the time out today, uh, not only to reach out to me, uh, but also to just be here on this call. And uh, from what it sounded like with Rose, you guys had a call last night too. It, I just, I am so fired up by that. And one of the big reasons why I, you know, chose to. Uh, or I should say accepted the role of being the basically the Philly MC at all the events is because that energy in that room and, and the energy at Beachbody events is really unmatched. Um, so no matter where you are, I don't know, I'm sure some of you are local, I'm sure some of you are, aren't from, you know, the Philly, Jersey, whatever area, all of you have a Super Saturday near you, I highly, highly recommend you go to it because there is no other feeling like the feeling you have when you leave a uh, beach body event. You know, I always say it's the, always the most positive place uh, in whatever city that you're in. You're not, you're not going to find a better group of people. So uh, I am firmly and die heartedly in love with Philly um, and, and the people that we have there and the family that we've grown there. Uh, but it's, it's the same everywhere. Um, well, maybe not exactly the same. I'd like to say that we're the best, but um, it's almost the same everywhere else. <laughs> uh, so make sure you get out to events. Um, but in, in keeping in that theme of events, one thing we noticed, um, I'm a member of the Philadelphia Market Council. And what the Market Council is, it's a group of uh, 10 people who all really keep an eye on the city and, and try and figure out the needs of what our city needs uh, from a beach body standpoint and how can we provide that for the city. And so what we found is that, you know, in the warmer months of the year, we were having like 700, 800 people out to our events. And then this past event, it was one of our best events, but we only had around 500, 600 people at this event. Now, um, the amazing thing about that was we still had like 800 people buy tickets and then just people not show up. And so we were trying to figure out what the deal was with that. You know, what's going on? Is this a trend around the country? Is something going on with Beachbody? Is, was there some announcement that we didn't hear of or some article that was posted that made people want to quit? Uh, none of that happened. What happened was people got discouraged pretty much all around the same time, and a lot of teams around the country started dwindling a little bit. Maybe coaches didn't necessarily quit, but they were their production went down. 
Um, and we actually talked to, talk to somebody from corporate about it. And that's one of the perks of being on the market council is we do have a direct line into corporate to kind of see what's going on around the country. Um, and they, you know, reiterated the same thing. They were seeing the same thing happen. Um, and, you know, they told us that there was a big announcement coming up um, that's probably going to change that. And yes, the all access will definitely change that. Um, that is, I can tell you right now, that's the direction Beachbody is going to be going. And, you know, it's the best direction to be in. I, at one point, was so frustrated with Beachbody, and this kind of goes along with what I was, what I'm going to talk about today. I was so frustrated with Beachbody that I almost quit because of how freaking bad the website was, right? And I never envisioned that we'd be in a day to, like today where now we have this streaming Netflix fitness amazingness happening. Um, so it really is going to be cool. It's really going to be great for everybody. I can't wait to see how that rolls out. So rambling, this is what I do. I ramble a lot. Uh, so I apologize in advance. If you guys have anything scheduled uh, before midnight, just cancel that because I'm going to be here that entire time. Uh, I'm talking today. I have about 75 pages of notes here that I want to go over. I'm kidding. Um, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but okay, so what did I want to talk about today? So we've, we saw those events. The numbers were dwindling a little bit all around the country. People weren't attending events as much, and they weren't attending events because they were questioning their beach body career. They were questioning this thing that they decided was going to be a part of their life. They started questioning it. Some of them started quitting. Some of them didn't want to go through the whole quitting process. So they just kind of fell off on their business. And because of that, you know, we, we, I had a conversation recently with the market council about quitting and about giving up and about falling off. And this seems to be the time of year every year that this happens. So I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about that because I didn't want you guys to be a part of that trend. I don't want anybody to be a part of that trend because it's, it's, it's way bigger and way more of a move to make than even we realize sometimes. Um, it's not like quitting a regular job. It's not like giving up on a regular hobby. It's not like doing those types of things because of what you guys actually do and the impact you make. And I want to make sure everybody realizes that impact before they go and make a decision like that. So do you guys all have, I hope you guys all have like a pen and paper. I'm only going to ask you to write a few things down. Um, but this is the first one I want you to write down. Have you ever thought about quitting? And if so, why? So I want you to write that down. And I want you to be specific. And here's what I'll say. If you've never thought about quitting this business, you're probably not working hard enough, you're probably not taking enough risks, and you probably, or you've probably only been doing it for a week. <laughs> so don't think you're weird or you're bad if you've, if you've thought about quitting. The next thing I want you to write down is, and this is going to take a little bit of thought, I want you to write down why you started coaching but that on that first day, because it may, it may not necessarily be the reason you're coaching right now, but like that first day when you signed up, whether it's under Rose or Leia or whoever it's under, that first day that you decided to sign up to be a coach, why did you do it? And again, it may not necessarily be the same reason you're coaching right now. In fact, when people say, remember why you started, I always call bullshit because there's a good chance that the reason you started is not the same, it's not motivating you right now, especially if you're one of those people that like is on the verge of quitting, like uh, with a workout program, you know, you're, you're getting ready to quit insanity on day 60. Oh, remember why you started? Yeah, I don't care about that anymore. I'm, I, I'm way past that. I'm tired. And I'm sore. And that wasn't here when I started. <laughs> so remember, it may not be the same. So keep those things down. We're going to come back to those. Okay. So I was mulling it over. Why are people giving up on this business? Why do people give up on Beachbody? This is such a cool opportunity to help people. This is so different than selling freaking nail stickers and Cutco knives and whatever else those other MLMs are doing. It's such a different opp opportunity because you're, you're, it's, it's more than just about you, right? You, 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 first of all, you join the best community in the world. Day one. You want to talk about a get-rich-quick scheme. I talked about this at the last Beachbody event. The get rich quick scheme is real and it's real with Beachbody because no matter what you do, the second you become a coach and you start coming to these events and you start and you, and you get on a call like this, especially on a team like this, you're automatically rich. 
you're a millionaire when it comes to the community and the people that are around you. Like you're automatically a millionaire. And you have something that people with a million dollars don't have. And that's this community, right? So even though you're not necessarily a millionaire in the same sense that they are, you automatically are a part of something bigger. And, and, and I notice that people are kind of giving up on that. Now, why is that? So I talked to a, a coach recently, and um, this is something that I actually ask all my new coaches now. You know, when you're coming, in, when you're coming into this business, is this temporary or is this a priority, right? Is, is you becoming a coach temporary or is it going to be a priority of yours? And a lot of times they ask me, well, you know, they, they kind of ask me to clarify that. And it's pretty simple. If this is a priority, think about the other priorities in your life. What makes them a priority? Usually what makes them a priority is the fact that they're too important for you to give up on. That's what makes it a priority. And that's why I don't say temporary or permanent. Because permanent almost sounds like you're stuck with it. And nobody's stuck with Beachbody. But uh, making it a priority means that it's too important to give up on. So what does temporary mean? Well, there are a lot of different circumstances that can make Beachbody temporary. A lot of people come into Beachbody immediately saying, this is going to be my part-time job. Immediately. And when you start saying things like that, like this is my part-time thing, this is going to be a hobby, this is something I'm going to do on the side, this is my side hustle, this is my side all this and that that Gary Vee talks about. The minute you start saying that, takes the priority away. Because you are, you are then saying that there are other things that are more important, and because there are other things that are more important, this is only temporary. I can give up on this and be fine. I can, I'm giving myself out from this beach body business already before I even start. So if somebody says to me, this is going to be temporary or this is going to be my side thing or whatever, I say, you know what, then maybe you should reconsider becoming a coach. Now, why do I say that? A lot of people may not say that. A lot of coaches may encourage this to be your side hustle. And look, I have a full-time job, but I will never call this, I will never treat this as if it's temporary. Because from the minute I started as a coach, I assumed the role of somebody that's going to help somebody else. And if I were selling nails or selling knives or selling cars or selling whatever, whatever else, I could leave that job without the guilt of leaving people behind, right? And so when I tell people, you're becoming a Beachbody coach, and as a Beachbody coach, you're going to have people underneath you that count on you. So if you consider this your side thing, your side hustle, your, your temporary thing, and you give up on them, this, then, then it, and you give up on this business, then you're giving up on them, right? So immediately, I set the stage for coaches to help them understand that this is more than just a, an MLM that you're doing on the side. It, you may not have to put 10 hours a day into this, but that hour you put in a day or that two hours you put in a day need to be your number one priority during that time. And this, this and, I'll, and I will talk about this a little bit more, this needs to align a little bit more with your mission than anything else you do. And that's where success comes from. A conversation I had with a coach um, a little over a year ago. Uh, she wasn't a coach. She was a challenger at the time. She had lost 50 pounds. And uh, she was really excited about that. And obviously, who wouldn't be? So she was so excited about that that she said, you know what? I want to help other people do this. I want to help other people get these same results. And that's, that's what I want, you know, my mission to be as a peach body coach. That's, that's, you know, that's what I want. She didn't know anything about coaching, right? Like a lot of you, how many of you started beach body coaching before you really knew anything about it? That's pretty much almost all of us, right? You didn't sit down and like, and, and like, as like, a, um, as an intern, maybe some of you did. I know some people actually do that. That's pretty cool. But you didn't sit down as an intern and like watch Rose for like six months and then like see all her bank statements and, you know, see all the whatever, all the things that she was earning and places she was going. You didn't necessarily see all of that, right? You came in with the idea of, I'm becoming a beach body coach because I want to help people make an impact, that kind of thing. 
And so this coach came in with that. She said, you know, I lost 50 pounds. This is what I want to do. I want to help people. And she did a really good job. Her first six months, she hit Success Club. Success Club 5. A couple months, she actually hit Success Club 10. And it was really exciting. And once she got to like seven months, I actually sat down and I told her, I'm like, hey, there's this cool thing. Now, you know what Success Club points are, but there's this cool thing called Success Club All-Star. You hit that 12 months in a row. If you hit Success Club 12 months in a row, you're a Success Club All-Star. You get this vacation thing. And it was, I think it was a cruise. And um, you get recognized at Summit. Oh, by the way, this is what Summit is. <laughs> you know, I'm teaching her all of this as we go. Uh, I was kind of relatively new to coaching, so I didn't have like this cool coach basics thing that I see out there all the time now and that I have now. Uh, that makes it way easier. Uh, so I'm kind of teaching her as she goes. And, uh, and she learns about all this, and she's like, pardon any kids. This is literally what she said. She said, holy shit, that's amazing. I had no idea. And she got so excited about this. Come month 10 of her as a coach, she misses success club. And I think she got like four points. And the reason she got four points was she went on vacation. She had a, a new challenge group. It was a, um, Insanity Max 30 might have just come out. Whatever it was, it was a new program. She was really focused on that challenge group. She didn't do a lot of invites that month. And so she didn't hit her success club goal. And because she didn't hit it in month 10, what happens? She can't get success club all-star, right? Because she didn't get 12 months in a row. Literally three days after, like three days in the month 11 of her as a coach, I see the uh, thing come through my email, the coach cancellation, where she wants to quit. I reached out to her and I was like, what's going on? Why do you want to quit? And she said she, she wanted to quit because she didn't make Success Club All-Star and she knew she wasn't going to make it that year. And she worked so hard on those 10 months and that she wasn't going to make it. She wanted to quit because of something she didn't even know existed when she started coaching. She learned about being a Success Club All-Star in month nine, up until month, or month seven or eight, up until month seven. She was so excited about coaching and had no idea what Success Club All-Star even was. Go back to the reason that you wanted to quit. Was it, and I, this isn't one of those like um, internet things on Facebook where it's like, press share and I'll reveal your answer. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> but I assume that some of you have something written down that you didn't even know existed when you started coaching and when you were first inspired to start this business. That happens every single day. Beachbody coaches quit this business because of something they did not even know existed when they started. And why does that happen? Honestly, it happens because when we start this business, we have a soft mission. Or when we start this business, we didn't align Beachbody with our mission at all. We came into this business raw. We came into this business wanting to figure out why or how to be successful rather than aligning this business with the success that we already wanted in our life. Rather than, you know, figuring out why you quit, answer this because these are the only reasons why anybody should quit this business. Shakeology is a scam. It's impossible to be successful. The programs don't work. Your coach lied to you. Are any of those the case? If they are, honestly, if you really do feel that way, if you really do feel like maybe it's impossible to be successful in this business, you know, you've seen examples of where it's, especially even on your team, where that's not the case. So that one's out the window. If you think Shakeology is a scam, if you think it's not working for you, well, odds are you have examples on your team and you are an example of it being successful. So that's out the window. The programs don't work. We already know that's out the window. And your coach lied to you. I hope that's not true, but I know it's not true, right? Those are the reasons you leave this business. If the reasons you leave this business are points, cruises, money, trips, 
then that's on you, right? And that's not your mission. Those things aren't real. They're not real. What's real is the person that you helped this week, the person that sent you a message this week, the person that hasn't bought a program from you but likes every one of your posts, the person that hasn't bought a thing from you. That's what's real in this business. And that's what separates this business from everything else you do in your entire life from everything else you do. Apart from, I know some of you are nurses, some of you are social workers, you know, some of you, your full-time job is just mindless sitting behind a desk work. And maybe it's important, but maybe it doesn't help people give the, maybe it doesn't make the same impact that Beachbody does. So why did this girl decide to quit Beachbody? She decided to quit because she had a soft mission. And what do I mean by a soft mission? I mean that we all have, we all have a goal. Maybe some of us have never defined it. And I'm not talking about a goal for your business. I'm not talking about a goal for you know, your family. I'm talking about a goal for you, a mission for you, a mission statement for you. Some of you may have never written this down, but you're going to right now. I want you right now to write down your mission in your life. I want you to write that down. I'll give you a minute. And really think about it. Think about what you want to accomplish. Think about the impact you want to make. Now let's talk about what happened when you joined Beachbody and maybe not even you, but maybe somebody on your team and some of the people that quit. What happened? Um, you know, after you've been in this business for a while, so you come into this business, you have this mission to, odd, odds are, first of all, the mission you wrote down, anybody, please raise your hand if the mission that you wrote down had the word trips, cruises, money, points, any of those things, especially points. It had the term all-star, elite, premier, any of those things. that have any of those words in your mission. No? Good. Good. That's a prime example of what I'm talking about. When you're aligning Beachbody with your mission, if you can do that, and what, what, you know, I'll help you understand how to do that, but if you can align that mission with what we do in Beachbody, you can't quit because no longer are you looking at Beachbody as a side hustle. You're now looking at it as a means to your mission, right? So what happens? What happens when we, when we join Beachbody? Well, we get a lot of Beachbody friend requests. We have a lot of team members on our Facebook and on our Instagram. We have a lot of successful, one of the things I did when I first joined Beachbody was I friended every single Beachbody millionaire I could find, right? And, you know, I became friends with all of them. Um, and actually, it's funny because when I started Beachbody, I was actually in the midst of the uh, Beachbody challenge. And so I wanted their help to help me win. <laughs> so in doing so, now I'm friends with all these millionaire Beachbody coaches. And now I'm seeing what they're doing on Facebook and I'm seeing their lives. and. When I see that, when I became a coach, the first question I asked when I saw Bonnie Engel was not, I wonder how many people she's, she's helping. The first question I asked when I saw her was, was, what do you think it was? I wonder how much money she's making. And so I immediately, at when I became a coach and I started thinking about the money thing and, and I, looking at it as like a side hustle and, and, or like a side job or, even as a temp, because when I first came in, I was temporary, especially being a guy. I was so not in. I had like my pinky toe in when I first became a coach, uh, you know, because I had, I was like, it was literally like all of my friends making fun of me or being a, like, it was, it, it was like, 
at any given moment, I knew that my friends were just going to crash down on me and make fun of me for being a beach body coach because all of my friends were football players and there are not, there are not a lot of uh, former football players being beach body coaches. Uh, come to find out that that's actually worked to my advantage uh, because I'm actually breaking down that barrier. So I'm, so I'm happy about that. But in the beginning, I was not. I, I started equating it to money. And what, what actually happened was when we first start beach body, we do align it with a mission. The first thing we say is, you know, I want to be a beach body coach. You guys all wrote it down. When I first, that's another thing you guys wrote down in the beginning. When I first became a beach body coach, it was because of this. And it, the, the odds are nothing in there had anything to do with points or, or cruises or anything like that or elite or anything. Odds are you probably didn't even know what those things were when you started, right? So when I first started, when I first became a beach body coach, this was my goal. And that goal probably aligned with the same mission you just wrote down right? Probably pretty similar. What happens was when we start, what happens is when we start making money, rather than aligning Beachbody with our mission, we have now aligned Beachbody with our income. And when we align Beachbody with our income, then we align Beachbody with our bills. And when we align Beachbody with our bills, we start saying, I have to do this to pay my bills. And when you start saying that, and one day you can't pay your bills with your beach body check, then you say, I got to find another way to pay this bill. And when you look for another way to pay that bill, you quit beach body. And so rather than aligning beach body with your mission, you start aligning it with your income. And when you align beach body with your income, you will not find the same success because beach body was not built to align with your income. If it were built to align, there are a lot of MLMs that are, are built to align with your income, a lot. This is not one of them. You can be financially successful because of Beachbody, but if you align this with your income and with your bills, you are never gonna find the, the right success. So that's why you have to define your mission and you have to align Beachbody with your mission. When I started, my life, my life mission, I, it was, I, I figured it out when I was in college. I had a sociology professor, sociology one-on-one. I walk into the class. I'm a football player. The, the, the professor automatically knows that I'm majoring in football. Uh, so he comes up to me and he says, dude, what's your name? I say, Dave. And he goes, okay, listen to me. You know, it was a, a small so- sociology class. He said, listen, you know, I know you're probably doing this to avoid math classes. It's kind of right. <laughs> and he said, look, what do you want to do with your life? Do you want to make a million dollars or do you want to help a million people? And it kind of stopped me in my tracks. But the, the answer was so automatic to me. I want to help a million people. Little did I know that would become my mission, my real life mission, to help a million people. And the reason he asked me that, you know, he, he knew that I was a football player, that I wanted to play professional football and do all that. And he said, look, basically, don't take this class if you're not committed to aligning it with a mission that is what we're, what we're going after here. And sociology, you know, the study of, of people and going into social work, which I eventually did, you know, aligning, uh, he helped me align that and helped me define my mission. You know, and so now that I had this mission, Beachbody went from being a job to being a means to my mission. And I can't quit on that mission. That's my mission, right? Your mission can't, it can't be quittable, right? You can't give up on that. So if you can find a way to align Beachbody with your mission, then you can't give up. If you align Beachbody with your bills, then failure means you quit Beachbody and you find another way to pay your bills. If you align Beachbody with your mission, that just means that you find another way to utilize this awesome tool that we have to, to go after your mission. Like if you fail at Beachbody, it's, it's nothing more than a challenge. It's not the end. If you fail to pay your bills because you've Align Beachbody with your bills, and once you do that, the trickle-down effect automatically, almost always, when people start stressing over getting a success club point because they need to pay a bill with it, almost always, 
that ends in failure and that ends in somebody wanting to quit. You know, giving up on Beachbody is basically like giving up on people. We talked about that. It's not like quitting a regular job. You know, it, um, you know there are, everybody has had a job that they quit and it just seemed like it didn't even really matter, right? <laughs> it was like, okay, I just, I quit this job, I'm done. They're just gonna put the next person in. That doesn't, it doesn't work like that in Beachbody. So it's, it's really important to keep that in mind when you decide you know, where you're at, if you want to fall, if you want to fall back, you know, again, this isn't even just about quitting. This is about falling off. This is about taking a week off. This is about not answering your messages. This is about not putting in the work that you put in before to go after the thing that you want to go after. Another important thing that you guys need to do is define success, you know, define success in your life, define success in your business. What is success to you? The thing is, the thing that Beachbody does um, is and, and this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this is something that they do a lot. And this is something actually that they're trying to get away from. Beachbody defines success in those numbers. They define success in those points, in, in those cruises, in those parties, and those exclusive things, and this exclusive that, and elite this, and premiere that. That's how they define success. And it's really, really, really super easy to fall into that and redefine your success to be what they want you to view as success. Don't get me wrong. Success club points are important, but what are they really? How can you redefine the term point so that it aligns with your mission? One of my other coaches came up with it with uh, the for our calls, for all the calls that we have, to never say points again, to just say lives. Just say lives changed, lives saved. You know, a lot of you think that you aren't saving lives. You think that you're just giving people programs and giving people a shake and, and you know, just kind of helping them. You know, you think you're just helping them do things when the reality is you're saving their lives. You know, I'm a prime example of that. My life was saved from Beachbody, 100%. When I started my journey, uh, you know, the, the three years previous to my journey, I spent eating fast food every single day every single day, nearly every meal. I was 460 some odd pounds when I started my journey. You know, I had a doctor tell me to my face uh, when I was 26 years old, he looked at me and said, if you keep your lifestyle up, you will not see 30. I just married my wife and, you know, I had to go home and tell her to prepare to raise kids without me, to go on with her life without me. These are the things that I had to do because of the way I was treating my body. And it wasn't until I saw an infomercial at three o'clock in the morning when I was eating DiGiorno pizza of Sean T basically yelling directly at me that I decided to change my life. And Beachbody did that for me. There are hundreds of people on your social media right now that are in the position that they need to be saved by Beachbody. And if you give up, you're giving up on that person. Think of the per last person that you worked with. Think of the last person that said thank you to you. How important were they? You know, how important were they? Were they? And, and, and what was their life worth? And how can, how can you, as a person, give up on them? And what am I trying to get, get at with this? Well, like we said, we talk about success and, and what it actually means. Well, success to me was very simple. Success was changing one life. One. Now, Beachbody wants you to, to define success sometimes as saving hundreds of people's lives or getting, getting whatever, getting 10 success club points a month. They really want you to think, think that that is success. And while that is success, What's also success is working with one person and changing one life. Because I changed one life, because I was a part of that journey, I know that there is another one out there that needs the same help. And because of that, I can't give up. I can't give up on that person. Success to me is impact. And impact comes from your story. The people that you can help, I can't help in the same way. 
The people that reach out to you and connect with your story, I can't do that. Rose can't do that. Nobody on this call can do that but you. The people that reach out to you after you tell your story, when you tell your story, even after you didn't make a dime this week from Beachbody and you still go on there and tell your story, there's somebody that liked that post that's going to reach out to you. It's going to say, your story mattered to them so much so that they needed you. You know, it's, I see coaches all the time that think that, you know, their story isn't enough, that their story isn't good enough. I have had a, a crazy beach body journey. I've lost 160 pounds. I won the beach body challenge. You know, I, I, I've, I've, I've gone from this fast food addict to the host of the, of the beach body events in Philly. And I've had this crazy journey and people look at me and they say, Dave, I don't have that kind of story. How am I going to change somebody's life? How am I going to make an impact? Well, what I always tell them is I made an impact when I was 440 pounds after I had lost 20 pounds. I signed people up. I, I was working with people when I was 450 pounds. You know, and ev at every stop in my journey, no matter where I was, there was somebody that where I was yesterday, they are today. And all I am is their hope for a better tomorrow. So no matter where you are, you're somebody's hope for a better tomorrow. If you can believe in that, if you can understand that, if you can say to yourself, you know what, that's, how, that's who I am. You know, I am not perfect. I'm not the person with abs. I'm not the millionaire. I'm not, you know, a 10-star diamond. I'm not elite. I'm not any of these things. But where I am today, because of the hard work I put in yesterday, Right now, I'm, I'm somewhere where there's somebody that's where I, where I was yesterday looking at me today and saying, that's my hope for tomorrow. It's my hope for a better tomorrow. All said and done, you know, your mission and your impact will define you. You're not going to be sitting on your deathbed when you're 107 years old because you drank Shakeology every day. You're not going to be sitting on your deathbed saying, thank God I paid all those bills. You're not going to say that. You're going to be sitting on your deathbed, and what's going to make you smile is remembering that you did something. You chased a mission that was bigger than yourself and involved a lot more people than just you. I'll close with this example. Um, there's a, a member of the Philly Fusion team. Her name's Sammy. And some of you may know her, uh, you may see her on Facebook, but um, she came and spoke at a recent Super Saturday. And, you know, I sat down with her and I, knew, I thought I knew a lot about her. Um, and she sat down next to me and I asked her a question, something as simple as, you know, what has Beachbody done for you? And she opened up with us and she said, you know, Beachbody saved my life something I've heard a lot, you know, and I, I have said it. Um, but to this extent, I didn't realize how, like what she actually meant was so real. Prior to Beachbody, she was suicidal. She was ready to take her own life. She had a plan. She had everything set up. And pretty much the last minute she decided, she went on Facebook and she saw somebody's transformation and it stopped her in her tracks. And it said, you know what? Maybe I'll go for it. And that was her day one. She's lost 170 pounds today. She was just on Rachel Ray. She uh, is, you know, in infomercials. She's done all of these amazing things. And it was because somebody on her timeline decided to post and decided to talk about Beachbody. That person that posted, and I know who it is, is not ripped. They're not rich. And Sammy didn't reach out to them because of how many success club points they had this, this month. Sammy reached out to that person because that person made it their mission and made it their point that day to post, to share their story, to never give up on this. And because of that, Sammy is here today and has a tomorrow. 
imagine if that's the impact that you have just from being a coach, not from being a six, uh, 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 you know, success club all-star, not from being elite, not from being anything other than just being a beach body coach. Is that worth sticking, sticking to this? Can you get that anywhere else? You know, is that something that is a part of that mission that you wrote down? Was that mission that you wrote down bigger than yourself? Was it bigger than the thing, than, than material things? Was it bigger than you existing and dying and nothing else after that? Was it bigger than that? I promise you Beachbody will be able to help you do that if it was. If it wasn't, if your mission was to be rich and to, you know, have a yacht and all those things that Herbalife promised all their people a couple months back, uh, then go join them. But if your mission was bigger than you, and if your mission was to make an impact on this world, you're doing it every single day. If you've helped one person, then your shit works. <laughs> what you're doing works. Keep that in mind because that one person needs you. I need you. Rose needs you. Everybody needs you. This is bigger than just getting a paycheck. This is bigger than your bills. This is bigger than the stress of getting a point. This is bigger than that. You're going to, at some point, be faced with that decision on whether or not you want to stick around. Go back. Read that mission. Read that reason you started. If you're still hitting those things and you're still doing those things, you should never, you're, you don't need to quit. You're doing the right thing. And if you think that your story isn't impactful enough, if you think that, that your journey isn't good enough to make an impact on your timeline and the people around you, don't change your desire to make an impact. Change your story. Keep going. Work a little bit harder on yourself. Rather than, and maybe I'll give you this challenge for 2017, rather than focusing on everybody else, Focus on you. Focus on making your story better. Focus on hitting that goal that you haven't hit. That whatever it may be, that, 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 that weight loss goal, that, that personal goal, focus on hitting that. And if, you can, and if you hit that, I promise you, that's going to change a lot of people's minds. Because you're going to come off a lot different on your timeline once you hit that goal. So maybe focus on that. Whatever it is, don't change your desire to help people. And don't change the means that you have chosen to help people. This is the perfect means to do it. Don't change that. Change your story. Make your story even more impactful and even more, uh, you know, even, even more, like, yeah, impactful, even more, um, you know, presentable to people. You know, hit that goal. Hit that goal, whatever it may be, personal, financial, whatever it is. Hit that goal and show people what's possible. Because there is somebody waiting for you to do that. There is somebody that's, that's reading your story that's like, yeah, we're kind of in the same place right now. Uh, I want to see where she goes. I want to see if she can do it or he can do it. And then do it and make that impact. So the next time you think about those things, go back to these things you wrote down today. There was a reason why you wanted to quit. <laughs> did it have anything to do with those points or those trips or whatever? And if it did, Crumple that reason up and throw it out and never look at it again. Because that's not why you started. If the reason you want to quit has something to do with the reason you started, then maybe, yeah, maybe it's time to quit. But odds are it's not. Odds are you're doing exactly what you wanted to do when you came in here. But at some point, some video from corporate or maybe some coach that you saw that's super successful, you looked at that person, you're like, I'll never be able to get there, so I might as well give up on this. That kind of stuff, don't focus on that. Focus on you. Because your impact is so important, not just, you know, for your family, but in your community, in your town, you know, it's, it's, it's so, so important. So keep doing it and don't ever, ever give up on your mission. It's so, so important. So thank you so much, you guys. Um, I hope this helped you out. I hope this kind of redefined what you guys are doing, what you guys, what you guys started doing. I know sometimes it can get really stressful thinking about numbers, like I said, they are important, but they come with the other stuff, right? They come once you are successful in 
fulfilling all of the things that, that you wanted to fulfill in your mission. Um, I don't know if we have enough time for questions. I'm always open for questions. Um, but thank you so much uh, for having me. Thank you, Dave, so, so, so much. That was an awesome, awesome call. Um, we do have a couple minutes for questions, if you have a couple minutes. Um, anybody have any questions they want to ask Dave? And it could be about anything. Don't feel like you have to ask me questions about what I talked about. <laughs> I got a question. Sure. I'm in this situation, <clears throat> excuse me, where uh, I work from home, so I don't spend much time in an office. Um, don't get out much. The times I do get out, it's just uh, for martial arts. So I see the same group of people almost all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm having an issue with uh, trying to bring more people on to get more people noticing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. and I'm not big into sending out friend requests to people I don't know on Facebook. Right. But wondering if you might have anything that might help me out. Uh, yeah. So, honestly, this happened to me uh, because I hit my friend request limit, <laughs> my friend limit on Facebook, um, and that all, like, happened while I was in the Beachbody Challenge. For me, I didn't even realize what I was doing. I was just accepting friend requests all the time. And they're all beach body coaches. So I'm like, okay, now I can't have any more friend, friends, I guess. Facebook limited my ability to have friends. So, uh, but what I started doing was I started thinking about, and this is something that, you know, everybody should think about. When it comes to beach body, there's one thing we all share. That's the fact that we're beach body coaches. That's the only thing we share, right? That's it. We're all beach body coaches. Apart from that, we all have different interests, different things you know, that we're, that we're into, you said you're into martial arts, all of these different things that define us. Write those things down and join those groups on Facebook. Um, and, and let those things kind of define your beach body business. I think one thing we do when we're kind of unsure about um, the entrepreneur part, like when it's the first, if it's the first time we're an entrepreneur in this business, we tend to define ourselves as beach body coaches or as hashtag fit mom or as hashtag girl boss or as hashtag whatever, the same thing that if you look up that hashtag, there's eight bajillion people that say that they're a girl boss and say that they're a fit mom and you never actually separate yourself. Where you're going to find success as a beach body coach is being a beach body coach that's in the martial arts and then also into whatever else you're into and utilizing those other traits about you that you're really into to leverage your beach body business. I'm in a beer nerds group, right? I love craft beer. And when I'm in that group, there is 20,000 people in this group. And when they see me post on that group, I, I don't necessarily post about beach body. I'm not on some beer group like, hey guys, you should stop drinking beer. Come join beach body. No, I don't do that. But if I post on that group and somebody clicks on my profile, then they see that I'm a beach body coach and they see the other things that I do. Now, they may send me a friend request and you may not want to accept that friend request and that's fine. But, you know, if they shoot you a message, you know, you're broadcasting yourself to all of these different, you know, groups on Facebook and you don't have to send one friend request. So if you join those groups and you find the other things you're interested in, one of, one of the things that does is it doesn't only, uh, you know, get you a bigger audience without having to intrude on people's lives, but it also further defines your business for you. You know, how, you know, for me, I've defined my business as being, you know, I'm, I'm coach big Dave. I'm the coach that bigger guys, you know, former football players, people that, you know, or former athletes, whatever, that's my target audience. And that's the people that I like to work with the most. And that's usually the people that I do work with. You know, it's, it's very different. Then, then, you know, my target audience, audience is very different than, say, Rose's target audience. And because I have, like, and what Rose can do, I can't do because of her target audience. Like, they're, they're so different. If you never branch out from being a Beachbody coach, then you're never an entrepreneur. You're an employee of Beachbody, right? So how do you, how do you make yourself not an employee of Beachbody? You see, we see a lot of the top coaches don't even talk about, don't even say the word beach body. You think like, like Jimmy Nelson 
and like Bonnie Engel, very rarely do they say Beachbody because they are their business now. So if you can further define that for yourself, you can still utilize and leverage social media, but in that way, if that makes sense. I, I, I don't know if that helps, but that's kind of how I did it because I did hit my friend request limit. So now I had to like branch out and still have an audience, but not have that like, I'm creeping on you. And especially for guys, because anytime we even like click anything on a girl's profile, we're automatically like in trouble. Um, I'm married and my wife is very awesome, but my mother and mother-in-law watch me like a hawk with this business. <laughs> so I hope that helps. That does. Thanks. Yep. Anybody else? What? You totally got me off on a tangent. I was just talking about that to another coach. Like, okay, you're a beach body coach. What else do you do? Who else are you? You know, give me, give me five other things that you are because that's what your business is. Your business is going to be, I'm this person and I also have, and, and, you know, um, the, the person I was talking to, she actually speaks at AA meetings. Um, and I said, okay, well, you are somebody that speaks at AA meetings who has this to offer them, you know, and, and you can help them from that angle. You know, you don't, don't just be a Beachbody coach because there's whatever, 500,000 Beachbody coaches, you know, hone that down so that you are somebody that, you know, that people start coming to, you know, so. Anybody else? Don't be shy. Last call, guys. Do we have anything in the uh, comments? Let's check. Uh, I see pajamas in one. <laughs> no questions. All right. Awesome. Dave, thank you so, so, so much. I know that we will be having a large representation at Super Saturday in January. It's going to be awesome. So we will see you there. And um, Awesome. Yeah, uh, January Super Saturday, in case anybody knows, Bonnie Engel's coming. We're doing her celebration. Um, that's a small part of it. Uh, we're doing her celebration because she's um, elite 10. I don't even know where she's ranked, but it's really, really high. Uh, so we're going to do that celebration, but at the same time, if you've never been to an event, come to this one. It's going to be off the chain, as they say, uh, but it's just a really, really cool event um, to reignite that fire, especially going into 2017 with this whole new thing, beast, that we have to conquer with this all-access pass. Um, it's really going to change your business, guys. It's going to change it um, a lot, and so, you know, this is a great place to start. Um, all the information will be at Super Saturday, so. Thank you so much for reminding me to, to plug that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being on the call. And thanks, Dave. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Bye. Good night.